I worked with Barbara, who's an amazing ITU athlete. So she loves to swim, bike, and run, and it was my first experience getting to work with an ITU athlete, getting them set up on their road bike. Uh, I expected to uh, get a better position in my bike, be more aerodynamic, and prevent injury. I think that is the main thing. She's had another fit before where they took some bone measurements, some body measurements, but something that she was really intrigued about was understanding that it's not just the length of your limbs that's going to affect the fit, it's also the flexibility of your muscles. So we can make sure that we could get her fit properly within those ranges once on the bike. Most of the time, okay, someone could say to you, okay, the, to be, you know, more aerodynamic is a better position, but sometimes your back is it's not really flexible, it's not, your hamstrings are really tight, so uh, it's not about to be really aerodynamic, it's as well what your body can handle. There wasn't any significant hurdles for the fit. She has pretty good flexibility, so that certainly didn't limit her in getting down into an aerodynamic aggressive position on the bike. Uh, one thing that was really intriguing for her that we got to have a good talk about was saddle selection. So it was really important to find the right size saddle for her, as well as the right shape saddle. So the saddle that we ended up choosing for her was a Henge in a 130 size. It's actually a mountain bike saddle and she felt much more free as she was moving through her pedal stroke. Yeah, the saddle is, uh, was a really important point for me. Today we try a new one. I'm really happy with that. Uh, Barbara definitely has a muscular imbalance. It was very apparent that one leg was larger muscularly than the other leg. She's had some overuse injuries in the past, but uh, typical stuff that we see with professional level athletes that are doing hours and hours of training. I think most of the time you have to uh, go to the bottom line in, in everything. What is your body tend to do, okay? Uh, what kind of injury you had before? What is uh, your weakness, muscle point? And so we talk about that before to get on the bike. There were definitely a couple of issues that we talked about that she wasn't necessarily very familiar with. And we sat for a while and talked about the dynamics of the knee and how it's necessary for riders to have a little bit of float in their pedals because as their knee articulates, the tibia actually rotates a little bit and we want that motion to happen at the pedal and not at the rider's knee. I sort of knew about myself but not as completed as I did today. Barbara uses a custom-made orthotic, however there's a huge difference between an orthotic that's made for walking or running and the BG arch supports that we use. Big thing that she noticed right when she got on the bike, as soon as she started pedaling, she could totally feel the amount of support and said she actually felt like more of her energy was moving straight through the shoe and into the pedals, where without the support her foot was moving around too much inside of the shoes. The, the new thought that we put in the or the insole that we put in the, in the bike shoes, the, all the power that you create is generate uh, power and I mean, move forward, no, no lose nothing. So that is the most important thing. I think through the fit, through her training, and through her continued learning of the sport, that she's only gonna get way better. Totally, she's gonna be a world champion in two years.